our new Hyperlite system. Uh, the system consists of an extruded aluminum piece right here. This is a five-way junction. This is our only extruded aluminum piece. There's no huge library of parts to get mixed up. This is our joiner bar right here. We designed this from the ground up for our specific needs. Uh, we went ahead and uh, we realized that there's not really many uh, extrusions out there that have this central bar. You can put a very substantial connector inside. You slip that in there, slip that on top, and voila. You can lock it in place. Just give these little locking nuts a, a quick half turn. And it puts on the nicest bit. I'll back this out. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, demonstrate the, uh, the horizontal pieces here for you. that down onto the base right there. This is your base piece. This has a, uh, a piece protruding about a half inch on each side. This allows the horizontal to rest a half inch off of the ground. Slide that down. Lock the wing nuts into place just by twisting. No tools required. Just like so. The top part has these little stoppers on it. Drop one end in, then the other. Like so. Twist the lock. You're all set. A very rigid system. Uh, from this, you can go ahead and, uh, and put your banners on it. You can go ahead and use your your banner clips like you do in our Easy Six system. Okay, this is our Easy Six truss system. The entire uh, exhibit is constructed of this. This in the uh, new Six Twelve C which uh, has a lot of strength for longer spans and carrying heavier loads. Uh, the, the cool thing about the Easy 6 is it assembles with carriage bolts and wing nuts, so you, you don't need any tools. We actually assembled this entire exhibit in three hours. The, uh, we've got a lot of accessories for Easy 6, including our little literature shelf here that just plops into place. Graphics simply magnet on. Typically we only use two four-footers to make a, an eight-foot column. The horizontals, what's very unique about Easy 6 is the horizontals come off with just a single bracket. There's no specialized cubes or turns or anything like that. We simply use the bracket. Anywhere that there's a pair of wires, your horizontal can come off. So there's a pair of wires here, 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 down there. I'm just going to show you how it works right here. You simply slide the bracket on. Plug on your truss section and put on a single wing nut. And that's how you connect a, a perpendicular section of truss. This is uh, way faster than any of our competitor systems. Easy 6 has an array of accessories including feet that lift it up about 4 inches off the ground and provide for a stable, stable tower, uh, which you can put on accessories if you'd like. We've got a slanted shelf, we've got a wood shelf, and an aluminum shelf. The wood shelf and the aluminum flat shelf both use this same bracket. A little shelf bracket just hooks onto the wire there. Anywhere there's a horizontal wire, you can put a shelf. Up here we've got our merchandising bar with its array of accessories to include a waterfall, face out, a straight hook, and a, um, a hang rod for clothing. So. Okay, over here we've got our, our 612 Davis workstation. Um, it's got 612 beams, make up a nice arc back here supports the monitor, it's got a nice little header and a place to put in your, your laptop computer, Mac Mini, something like that, to power your monitor. We've got a whole line of workstations, this is one of six. Okay, here we've got our Easy 12 truss system. This is actually an eight-foot column. Flat for 
portability. Ships around in panel cases. To open the, uh, the A-foot column, you simply open one side. Look in the locker bar. Open the other side. Same thing. And then open up the entire truss. At this point, you would typically put in a uh, carriage bolt and wing nut through this center hole, and that would create your column. Notice that the top part has four bars, and the bottom part only has two. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to fold this back down like this, and show you how to put a two-footer. So, use the A bracket on the lower bar here, that would be the bar with the holes in it, and the bracket without the holes. We put that on, turn the keepers, and that side is ready to accept a truss. If you have a truss coming off this side as well, you would use the B bracket. It's got a little hole for identification purposes, because the brackets look very similar, although they're not. Then you simply lock your truss into place. And that's a horizontal connection. Okay. Well, since 1991, Trustworks has been manufacturing traditional truss type systems with the round tube and our half round connector. We make them in a uh, triangle and a square. They're great for long spans, hanging lighting, AV, some signage. The, um, Sizes range from 3 inch, 6 inch, 10 inch, and 14 inch. This is our triangle. And this is our square, all in the same sizes 3, 6, 10, and 14. These are the colors that it comes in. We've got 12 different powder coat colors in stock, and custom colors are available. And here we have pack stuff. This is our portable furniture. Um, this, is a, this is our bar height line. Uh, so we've got a curved back stool, it's got a curved back and a pad, nice cushy seat, and it collapses down like this and to fit into a shipping case. We've also got a, a 30 inch round, 40 inch high table. There's a uh, little handle under here. Turn the handle to release the top. Top picks up, folds in half, and the base folds flat. Also, pretty easy to shift. We, and over here we have our sling back stool, which is just a little bit different look than the curb back stool and 20 bucks cheaper.